Well, today is really the first public four-day event. As you can see, it's packed. People are uh, checking out the 1,500 plus uh, exhibitors here uh, at this expo. And uh, we're really, uh, this is really a direct window into the growing trade between China and Africa. We're coming off a record year in terms of trade volume with imports rising 14% year on year. And here you can really see where some of that growth is coming from. Uh, for instance, there's a growing appetite for African farm produce, things like chilies, coffee, uh, soybeans and things like that and for a lot of African economies that are primarily uh, agricultural driven China really represents a huge uh, a huge potential not just in terms of market right the Chinese uh, middle class is increasingly interested in organic produce from these small-scale African farms but at the same time uh, China also promises billions of dollars in trade financing support as well as policy incentives Beijing uh, promising to import uh, 300 billion in U.S. dollars worth of farm produce from Africa by 2025 and extending duty-free policies to more than a dozen African nations. But actually reaching those uh, Chinese import standards uh, is uh, another story. It'll take time. Uh, for instance, uh, it took Kenyan farmers uh, more than two years to reach Chinese import standards, sen uh, phytosanitary or plant health standards. And Uganda is still trying to get there. And so even with promises of huge orders from China, uh, you know, the infrastructure of the 5G network around those farms and factories still need to be in place. And so that's why in the last two days we saw countries bring high-level delegations here to try and smooth out some of these uh, roadblocks and get Chinese financing help, get, uh, uh, try to cement more uh, support uh, in terms of capacity building in Africa. But, you know, for the small companies that are exhibiting here today, this is a great chance to actually talk to their consumers, understand the market. Bear in mind, Africa only represents about 3% of China's global imports. And judging from the crowd today, there's plenty of room for that to grow. Back to you. Thank you so much for the update, Wang Fei, at the China Africa Economic and Trade Expo in Changsha.